Okay, Bert made it here. Oh, we've got a Cass. What about Russell? I'll oh, screw Russell. <laughs> there you are. Right, okay. Well, this is certainly interesting, isn't it? Welcome to Jurassic Park. At um, Interval 22. I, I am genuinely getting a bit of a trespasser vibe off this. It's kind of weird. Hey, you saw that sign outside, right? It said, the plants kill. You don't really care, do you? Fuck me. I should have stayed at the 188. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, where we are in Vault 22, um, which has a big sign outside, outside it saying the plants kill. We've come here looking for data, basically, on how they made the plants grow here. Um, some of the objects in the room are bugging out with my pit boy light, and yeah, Russell's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> really not happy. Um, you can wait outside if you want, buddy. I mean, it's up to you. You don't. You don't see. You don't see bad motherfucker complaining though, do you? So, or Cass for that matter. She doesn't give a shit either. It's just plants. I mean, come on, man. I've got a shotgun full of dragon's breath rounds. So, uh, you know, who cares if the plants kill? It just means we'll have to start a few forest fires. Oh yeah. Let's do this. I, 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 I reached to put my shades on then, but I realized the hotkey for my shades was unbound because I gave them to Cass for a while. And yeah, yeah. I had my hotkeys. I mean, I had my shades hotkeyed. Deal with it. I had my hotkeys shaded. That's what I almost said. Elevator. Repair the elevator. The elevator does not seem to be working. You could probably pop out the uh, nearby panel and tinker with it to get the elevator working. The ele elevator door opens without a hitch. Buttons corresponding to the different pa levels of the vault glow faintly along the wall. Which one do you press? Uh, let's leave it alone. I don't really know what to do with it for now. Let's just go down one level at a time, shall we? We'll use the stairs. I think we're also here, not only because we're looking for data, but we're also looking for a scientist that went missing. Okay, oxygen oxygen recycling, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, magnum, coin shot, dragon's breath. It's about time I had some fun with this. I don't really know what I'm expecting. It said the plants kill. But... I mean, you know, crazy things have happened, you know. I mean, I, I'm not saying we might get attacked by killer plants, but, you know, I think Russell's on the same page with me already anyway. But I figure if we're going to get attacked by killer plants, as the sign outside would seem to suggest, Better well, be rock salt in that, or you're asking for an ass kicking. It's a little, little stronger than rock salt. Anyway, yeah, we'll just set fire to any killer plants. Should give Bird his flamethrower back, really, shouldn't I? It all seems fairly harmless so far, though, doesn't it? And that's it meant there were, like, harmful spores or something. Like, am I breathing in something that's gonna kill me right now? Oh god, that would be horrible. Glad that's over. Glad what's over. I heard a funny noise for a second there, and then it was gone. I can hear a dripping noise, that's what it was. Restored terminal. Alt 22 Interlab Network Atmospherics Effects Subsystem Warning System Diagnostic shows that memory has been corrupted, retrieving uncorrupted files only. Noise complained. Could maintenance look into the duct work on 
We're here on, on level 2 again. I know you guys took a look at this last week, but I swear the noise is back. I even have other people that can back me up on this on it this time too. Okay. It all seems fairly harmless so far. But you know, let's engage common sense, uh boys and girls. If if everything was totally hunky dory, this place would not be abandoned. And besides, it's a vault, which means that something has obviously gone wrong at some point, because that's what vaults do. They go wrong. Ooh, UV lights. Okay. Ooh, an implant. Vault 22 Expedition Entry 3. This level seems to have been devoted to the study of atmospheric effects on plants with a concentration on producing plants with a high oxygen yield. Given the problems these vaults were known to have, it sounds like a reasonable avenue of research. Vault 22 Expedition Entry 4. It's strange, but some sections of the machinery down here appear to have been modified for some unknown purpose. The restraints regarding oxygen content and systemic pressure have been bypassed. I've been hearing a strange chittering sound for some time now and finally discovered its source. There's some kind of giant mantises that have taken up residence in the vault. I almost ran smack into one the other day, but the creatures don't appear to react to my presence at all. Perhaps the others sent here ran afoul of the creatures, but I can't see how a few scattered insects could pose much for a problem to experience mercs. Whoopsie daisy! Did not mean to shoot the computer. Sorry, don't get all fancy with me. Seriously, dude. I know you don't want to even want to be here in the first place, but chill out. I swear I just heard something then. That was creepy, but I'm pretty sure that was a mantis. <laughs> Just as I shone the fucking flashlight at it. That, you could not have scripted that better. System diagnostic shows in memory. Check inventory. Retrieving inventory information. Uh. K? Okay. Not sure what that did. Are you still crippled and in bad shape? Yeah, you're... I don't know what to do with you, but really, I would have thought the poison had worn off by now, but... Uh, those Cazadors really did a number on you, didn't they? I mean, it's your own stupid fault for not fighting back, but... Continue going down. What a brilliant idea. Food production, okay. That's a fairly unprob What the fuck? Guys? Yeah, you see it too, don't you? What, what, what should we do? I don't... Let's just back away slowly. Shall we? Come on, let's... Whoa, elevator. Oh, oh, right, crap, we don't really have... Stairs. You can't... This thing, whatever it is, is blocking the way. Oh god! Kill it with fire. Spore carrier. Oh, I was right, wasn't I? Spores. We're all going to turn into these things. Oh. 
What in the name of all that's holy on good green Mother Earth is... I kind of want to get a look at its face. If it's even got a face. But apparently I'm, I'm an absolute weakling and I can't even lift this sucker up. There we go. That is actually horrifying. That's the way. Okay, well we've got green um plant infected zombie creatures and my camera went a bit weird there. Six. I finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that lived here. They appear to be overgrown with some form of lichen. They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked b right by several of them without even noticing them. I've taken the proper precautions, but the lichen doesn't seem to be contagious, at least to ghouls. This level appears to be where they perform most of the research NCR is interested in. I'm I've been able to collect a little, but the vast majority of the data from the research done here is inaccessible. I'll have to find the main backup and download from there. So presumably that's what we've got to do too. I don't trust clusters of plants now anymore, and I'm, I'm beginning to doubt if I ever will. Hello, any green creatures in there lurking? That's weird. Since when is turning my flashlight on and off meant that I had to re-equip my weapon? See, it doesn't with that. It does with that. Is this because it's got a mod on it? It is, isn't it? There's, there's something going on with my weapon mods in the minute. They're causing glitches. Why did I switch away from this? That was a terrible idea. Security request. Assistant Mathers went into the caves at 1846 today and still hasn't returned. Requesting security escort for science personnel to conduct a search. Medical emergency. We need a medical team up here now. Dr. Peters just returned with one of the security escorts who was horribly wounded. When I asked them where the other security officer was, he just paled and shook his head. In the meantime, Dr. Bailey has ordered that the door to the caves be sealed until a further investigation can take place. Help. Is anyone down there? Security is trying to hold off. Well, I don't know what they're trying to hold off. Please send security up at once. Dr. Bailey watching over us... Oh, 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 watching over his sick wife and daughter in their quarters down in the common area. I'm officially in charge of the level and I'm requesting security at once. Okay. Cave door access terminal. Do we want to open this? I'm pretty sure we don't. But, uh, I find myself doing it anyway. It's not opening though. Oh right, yeah, access denied. Yeah, okay. Actually, read the goddamn text on the screen. You, you nink and poop. Next time. Okay, well, down another level. What new horrors will await us here? You, for example. I have no idea if these things are actually weak to fire, but I, I just feel better knowing that I can shoot them and set them on fire at the same time. It's peace of mind, really. We're going to run into poison ivy in a second. Oh god, there's going to be one in a cubicle, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. Oof. 
I... No, I don't want to drink from that water fountain. God knows what's in it. Based on what I've seen here. And apparently, yeah, the, we're in combat right now. Of a sort. And now we're not. It's a bit of a dead giveaway, the whole... I, to be honest with you, I think I might turn that off. I think I might turn that off. Um, I re initially wanted it on there because they do have health bars on those portrait things, but I seem to never pay attention to my companion's health anyway, and in, considering it doesn't tremendously matter all that much, actually, when you think about it, considering they are essential, I guess. Yeah. So, force recruit hotkey. Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, I need to... How do I set it so that it... Ah, selection mode only. There we go. Now, it will no longer pop up at the side of the screen, giving me advanced warning that something wants to kill me. System security data has been compromised. Current data integrity is unknown. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I guess no one will miss this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. It looks like this is where most of the people were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of them succumbed to some kind of airborne infection. Ah, oh, God. That's not what I wanted to hear. Um, I'm going to see if I can convert some of the glow lamps into UV spectrometers to test the air for contaminants. After numerous attempts, I found a range that highlights the particles in the air that I believe killed everyone in this vault. Preliminary tests show them to be spores of... Oh god, I was right. And I'm an idiot when it comes to science, and yet... Oh. I've set up spectrometers on several of the levels now, and the concentration appears to be increasing the lower levels. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may constitute a danger to the people of the NCR. Uh-oh. That's really, really not good. No, I don't want some 200 year old potato crisps. I'll take a 200 year old stim pack though. I'm not that fuzzy. Scotch! And whiskey for Cass. Cheer up, God! Let's see what you got. Whiskey. There you go. So that's cheered you up. Now you're no longer scowling. scowling. That's that's cool. See, I can I can cheer you up with alcohol. Oh. I love this shotgun so very much. Have I ever mentioned that? To think I nearly sold you, you poor thing. I was like, oh, ew, shotguns. I don't think I don't think I want a shotgun. It's it's terribly imprecise, don't you know? But how wrong I was. Um, anything lurking in the plants? No. Good. Another terminal. Uh, unlock crew quarters, unlock data backup, unlock cabin access, a ride engaged a door sign, okay. We just opened a bunch of doors, maybe that wasn't terribly sensible of me, but oh well. But it's really not in good shape, is he? Uh. Lower level. What's in there? Power generators of some kind. Utility.
Ticket one, strange noises. Problem, noises in vents. Action, sent a team to inspect. Result, source of problem not detected. Ticket two, gas leak. Reports of possible gas leak. Several people have complained of coughing fits and other respiratory symptoms. Action, complete diagnostic of air circulation system. Result, discovered minor discrepancies in the mass of the air being pumped through the vault, but no harmful gases were detected. Also, a strange residue was detected on the air filters, which has been forwarded for identification. Swapped out the filters just in case. I think you needed to do more than swap out the filters, chum. Uh, let's have the alt tech logo on the side of the cabinets. Nice little detail. Okay. I'm a little worried about what will happen if I get too close to that, actually. It looks a little unstable. Laser pistol. Again! It's a fucking laser pistol, and it's only worth 35 caps. Damn, that is loud. More fuel for the truck. The one complaint I have about that truck mod, actually, is that the older versions of it... OH GOD! <sighs> what was I saying? Um, yeah, the old, oh, okay, yeah, the older versions of the truck mod, they used microfusion cells to power them. <sighs> Fucking hell. Um, yeah, they used microfusion cells to power them instead of, um, you know, fuel. Or, you know, as fuel, essentially, I guess. Um... Which is actually, ironically, kind of a little bit more law friendly because I think that's how. In fact, I know for, I don't know almost for a fact that it it was that kind of power source that the, the pre-war cars used, because in Fallout Two, and this is this is for anyone in the comments who's going, oh my god, you have a working vehicle that is so unlaw friendly. For those who don't know, in Fallout Two. Um, you could actually have a functioning car you could drive around in, so yeah. Yeah, boo sucks to you. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that car ran on, like, fission batteries or um, microfusion thingies or something like that, actually, and not, you know, regular fuel. Unless, obviously, the, the truck was converted to use regular fuel, perhaps, I don't know. Um... Okay. Case 162. Patient Peters Harrison T. Dr. Peters is suffering from a severe case of pneumonia. The result of the spread is some sort of microorganism in his lungs. I have applied the usual treatment and requested that he refrain from working and stop by twice a day for observation. Case 164. Group. Patients Mitchell, Pam, Cordella. Pam Mitchell, yeah, Michael Cordella, Samwise Horton. Naoki Fujimoto and Kenneth Derrida. Update. This entire group showed up throughout the course of the day displaying the same symptoms. They're remarkably similar to Dr. Peter's condition when he first came in a week ago. I hope we don't have a contagion on our hands. 162 update. Dr. Peters isn't responding to the treatment, or more accurately, his body is actively rejecting the treatment. treatment. His condition has worsened, and I am on the cusp of ordering exploratory surgery. Bloody hell. On the 73 group. Patients Elizabeth Bailey, Marsha Bailey, Hay. Uh, no, no, no. Elizabeth. Uh, what? Yeah, Elizabeth Bailey, Marsha Bailey. Uh, what? What the heck just happened? That, 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 did that appear on the video for you guys or what? Because my. My second monitor just flashed, and I think both of them might have just done. Like, it just... That was weird. Anyway. Um... Hold on. Okay, just, just restart the court recording. Ah! Some, that was weird. Whatever. I don't... 
know what's going on there, but yeah, my monitor is sort of briefly just flickered black. Um, strange. Anyway, probably didn't show up on the video to be honest, but uh, yeah, it's odd. Um, anyway, a bunch of people. I'm not going to read out the names. Um, another group with with chills, a fever, and a terrible racking cough. I'm recommending that they be separated from the general populace. One six two update. Dr. Peters is dead. His vitals flatlined ten minutes before he entered surgery. I decided to perform an autopsy immediately and discovered his lungs were filled with some sort of fungal infection. Strangely, the fungus still shows evidence of growth despite the death of its host. I'll consult with one of the mycologists on the fifth level and see if they can identify it. 162 update. I don't really know how to describe what just happened. One minute I was closing up for the day and the next Dr. Peter's corpse sat up and attacked me. I was able to flee the office and seal him it inside until security arrived. But what the hell is going on if all the recent illnesses are the same thing? Dot, dot, dot. Yes, indeed. I've searched all these, haven't I? Check all the bushes, guys. Check every one of them. Every goddamn one of them. Uh, oh no, it's just the, it's the power generator. That's what I was hearing. I was like, oof. I heard a, heard a clicking noise and I was like, oh god! Uh, quarters. Oh boy. Hello. Well, on the bright side, these. Ooh, Vault 22 cave door key card. Uh huh. On the bright side, these things, whatever they are, that the former residents have become. Oh, great, a baby carriage. That's just because things weren't depressing enough. Um, spore carrier runt. Oh god, don't tell me that was a child. Yeah. Fall twenty two jumpsuit. For some reason, I want to take that, but. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thanks, Russell. Thanks. I was a bit like, oh god. I didn't want to go up there. Um, there was another one up there. Pleased to be dying now. Thank you. These things don't seem to be posing much of an actual threat to us, but they 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 really give me the heebie jeebies. Big time. Hello Any So hard to spot, aren't they? Okay. God, even you gave made me jump there for a second there. But Spore Carrier Brute, yeah that would explain why you took more than one shot in the face without dying. The one in here. Okay, good. Okay, just loads of mushrooms in this one. A vacuum cleaner. Anyone want a vacuum cleaner? Oh, yes, and these are the air conditioning unit things that spread the damn stuff.
But this seems to be a dead end. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we need to get back to the cave entrance, I think, don't we? Even though I don't really want to, but... Control. Yeah, we need to get the pest control. I think I could definitely hear something. It sounds like a mantis, though. Yeah, we need to get the pest control. I'm not really sure how to get to get pest control. Except via the elevator. Oh, stairs. Now this, now this brings us to back up to food production. Unless... We've got a key, key card for the cave door. Let's see. Pest control. Oh. Okay. I didn't expect that to work. I thought we'd have to repair it first or something, but... Okay. I appear to be dead. Very easy. Oh god, what the oh I didn't realise it was a Uh oh. <laughs> Are we gonna get things coming through after us now? Okay. Yeah, we'll leave that alone for the second. Um Oh dear God! Fuck you. Yeah, I'm right with you there, Russell. My sentiments exactly. Spore plant. Oh God, I remember these from Fallout 2 as well. <laughs> the first side quest in the game was to kill a couple of those. Yeah, I know, I wax nostalgic about Fallout 2 a lot, but... Can you really blame me? Fallout 2 is like the Morrowind of the Fallout series. I can't help it. Oh god. Oh, it's, it's Mantis, it's okay. Download research data. Downloading. Okay, we've got the data, but, um, you know, for better or worse. Are we going to be alive to, to deliver the data, though? Because we've ingested a lot of spores by this point, I'd imagine. Oops, what the hell? Apparently I'm... These giant mantises are apparently not in fact dead, because I can grab them with the Groovatron. Whatever. Ah, uh, okay. Dead end? Dead end. Oh my god. Oh Christ. <laughs> How many of them are going to be waiting down there?
Or if it's just mantises, that's okay. Oh, it's no, of course not. Uh, spore plants, not. God, they are. Well, they are pretty horrifying, but not as bad as the other things. These don't really terrify me in quite the same way. For some reason, I get a sore throat just looking at them, though. Um, kill abominations. I got a. Is that what that is officially classed as? Is it? Um, it's just chewing away at my legs. Yeah, I need to use the high beam in here, don't I, really? Um... Hi! Keely? How you doing? I'm... Hello. Sir Crumpington. Sir David Crumpington, at your service. This is Cass, that is Bert, this is Russell. Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you? Uh, yes, well, Angela Williams actually asked me to come and find you specifically. Ah, oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little pedant she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. Uh... Well, I could, um, yeah, well... Yeah, they kind of need to be destroyed, don't they? So I, I'm quite, I'm right with you. Good. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done. Why can't you explain here? Fine. Let's not assume everything's dead. Because it isn't. Why am, I, why am I holding it out like that? That's weird. Um, how do we get out of here? Because we came down a very steep fall to get in here. Um... Am I going to be able to get back up there? Apparently, yes. Oh god. Well, you guys are just going to have to figure it out. I'm sure between the three of you, you've got enough brain cells to, to, to negotiate the problem. I don't know what that was an aid of, but I've done it now. Ah, uh, you made it, Cass. And Russell. Okay, excellent. Well done, guys. Second level, she said, wasn't it? Or. Oh, God, it wants us to go into the common areas. Okay, that's where we went in there and suddenly heard a horrible, sort of raspy. Shrill roar of doom and lots of things wanting to kill us. This will be a barrel of laughs, I'm sure. Oh, there you are. Hmm. <clears throat> What's this? Did you do these repairs? Not bad. Not bad at all. Saves me time, I guess. See you upstairs. Yeah, I uh, apparently I repaired the elevator without even realizing it, guys. Because <laughs> um. We're just in the second level, right? Um, there was another door here, wasn't there? 
common areas. Okay, right. There's a bunch of things in here that need killing, so... Got it. Glad that's over. Oh. AER-14 prototype? Hello? Come again? What's this, then? Oh, hello. <gasps> it charges. Guys, new favorite weapon. <laughs> <laughs> 